Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to start the joint campaign with Tapcat against uh, the Overmind or whatever we're going to call it when it is ready. Uh, it is definitely a pleasure to be here. Thanks for tuning in and today we're going to take it off for mission 2. And for the following, I assume by now you've watched uh, episode number one. If that is not the case, head over to Tapcat's channel and definitely do that uh, as we try to go back and forth with all of our missions. Today, Operation Patient Claw is upon us. It's an easy mission, meaning seven to nine enemies and we can get an engineer. And I figured I want to be a bit brave slash greedy. Tapcat has... Uh, crushed a gate crasher in a flawless fashion and we have already four uh, operatives three uh, of uh, the proficiency classes and the reaper which is great um, now however could be the time where we are actually engaging with rookies only uh, to get all three other proficiency classes in case you're unaware if you, uh, you rank up rookies the uh, game typically takes the class that you have the least of and uh, promotes it. And really what I want to try here is um, take, let's say the DLC weapon, or word assault rifle. And that looks like a, a pretty decent team where we don't have enough funds to do anything else, but Tepkit uh, smartly has uh, gotten us a flashbang, which is good. So that's all we got for rookies. Some people say that is enough to beat the game. But uh, yeah, we should be good enough for the first mission. So wish me luck as we're going into that mission. All right, we landed. Let's take a look. Nice little uh, drop zone in the middle of the water. We got the subway and the package is very far away. Seven turns will be tough. Okay, well, I'm starting to regret that I only took rookies as we don't have any ranged hacking capabilities. Moving to designated coordinates. So this will be one of these missions where you gotta relentlessly push forward. Got an enemy squad here. Oh wow. Okay. Already there. Um yeah, let's position as far forward as possible for us. Not sure if this uh, tile is safe. These two technically would be safe because as long as uh, the door is closed, it uh, does not give away line of sight. <clears throat> Interesting setup. Drone plus advent captain. Okay, say, can we hit both of them? It's strange how they separated each other, uh, how, we're, how they were separated from each other. Moving out. Okay, we're doing one overwatch and one normal shot on the advent officer. Okay, that worked out well. Name of the game now is to push forward. An easy rookie mistake to make would be to just stay where we are and not push forward. And the reason why I would consider that to be a rookie mistake is we're having only seven turns and that's going to be really tough to make it there. And we're going to take some damage, but it is what it is. 
drone flies back to the next pack. Uh, that is a mechanic that typically happens uh, when uh, a particular advent is the last of a pack. And it will always move to the nearest uh, pack. Autoloader is fantastic. What that tells us is that somewhere here, over here, will be the position of the next pack. This could trigger, but it does not. And that is not too bad. Not bad at all. Heading out. Taking high ground, mainly for overwatch purposes. Okay, well, we lost a bit of momentum there. It's hard to push into the complete unknown, right? Not a the drone flew up here, which tells me the enemy must be inside of the building. But the question is how f how deep inside of the building. Moving to position. Not a problem. I love high ground, but I think we need to push on further. Four more turns. Well, it's going to be a very close one. Well, there we go. We found them. Careful over here or here could be another pack. We know there is one more. And the drone moved up here and is not with that pack, which means there is definitely one more pack. Doing a little trick here to grant us additional vision. Good, like I mentioned, we need to push forward. There is no standing back. Uh, that will take away all of the cover. Unfortunately, well, didn't fully kill him. There was a 33% chance in that happening. But yeah, we eliminated uh, the bigger threats. This guy's moving away as well. Last pack's back here. Oh no. Please, no reinforcements. Worst possible time for that. That's the objectively worst time for reinforcements. Heading out. Good, we can overwatch. If we're moving in, we're being squeezed between both uh, parties. Last pack is back here. So really what I want to do is proximity for more weapon accuracy and then overwatch to get the to get the newcomers down. Doesn't matter that we're sitting in the open here. They can't shoot back. 
in the first instance, so this is Overwatch, Overwatch. Come on, give me a crit. Ah, minimum damage is better than not hitting. And we're overwatching. Okay. Might be able to completely kill these guys. Good shot. Okay. Overwatch trap worked like a charm. Last pack here. Reaction loaded mission. Uh, we're taking the income. Not that it really will matter. Good. Now that that uh, report is in our possession, I can already tell you that the last pack will rush towards our direction. Next lesson, regularly reload. If you're down to one, uh, that's my golden uh, rule of uh, thumb. If you're down to one, you might want to reload. And that's going to be the biggest pack we have fought. Mainly because the two stragglers have moved up. Interesting little matchup here. This opens uh, the most amount of wall for us. Up and peppering the sector. Reload so that we can continue a longer shootout. I don't want to use the flashbang yet. I'm on it. I'm going a little bit closer and I want to kill the trooper. Highest threat target at the moment. Going to see. One of them mind spinning and one of them straight up killing our rookie. Yep, that's, uh, that's the goal. I was about to say one is going to reanimate, but okay. Reanimate, right? Okay, we can't throw our flashbang, but it's not necessary yet. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. I was trying to get that stupid drone. We'll cover over here, which is the only thing that really helps us. Could move up, but that would be really dangerous. So instead, non-flankable position and out of zombie range. And unfortunately, no bueno. More zombies. Flashbang will be much appreciated once we're hitting both of them. In the meantime, the fire helps us. <clears throat> oh, 
All right, shoot. Now nah, that's the worst thing that could have happened. Good. And now you can see just how good uh, flashbangs really are. If you can land them, of course. Light them up. Two zombies down. Mine's been gone. And the panic should be removed as well. No. Okay, well, never mind then. Killing this guy because uh, burning might only deal one point of damage. Fortunately, we're going to see how accurate these buggers are. They can be quite, quite deadly with uh, their guns, actually. There we go. Need to pick up the package, otherwise we're losing this mission. Fifty-fifty, I'll take that. Okay. And given that there is a very low chance that we deal maximum damage here, I will resort back to full cover and potential flanking next turn. More overwatch. Because we are in deep cover. He does not want uh, to shoot us. We're using the time to reload and to overwatch uh, and to shoot. Slight movement ahead and overwatch. More reanimation. This guy has a solid position back there. Reload. Shoot. Rookies. Mine spin. Okay, take a shot. No, nope. hunkering down instead. Good, that's the closest flankable position. And there we go. Listen, we got uh, three promotions, right? Was it bloody? Yes. But uh, seven turns without uh, ranged hacking into uh, also reinforcements, 13 enemies. Eh, it happens. We didn't have uh, the means yet to actually do uh, much about it. And this is uh, the first victim of uh, the campaign. We, won't, uh, we will miss you, Liu. Give me some rest in pieces in chat. Good. Medical specialist right here. Fabulous. I love the class. It's really, really good. Unfortunately, gone for 24 days. We got some absolutely fantastic assault infantry. Uh, let's 
shortly talk through that. Uh, this uh, this class is uh, based on shotgun and uh, sword, very similar to the actual ranger, but uh, is using uh, the uh, threat zone that uh, the ranger in XCOM 1 had. It's uh, called uh, QBC, uh, CQB, sorry. Um, and CQB basically gives you better chances to dodge. Um, and later in the tree, you can uh, even uh, to do reaction shots. On the other hand, uh, they have basically nerfed uh, the implacable trait. So they have split it the, so that uh, this first sto Stormtrooper uh, mm, uh, skill set basically allows you to flank enemies and then shoot and once you shoot them from a non-covered position you automatically gain a smaller version of implacable and the same for vanguard where essentially it becomes a mini templar so to speak you kind of run in slash and run out um, mm. some of the other abilities have uh, have been reworked as well and the third uh, tree is really around uh, the run and gun feature one cool part about that class is you can reduce uh, the weapon uh, size to an SMG or the offhand to a knife only and that will allow you to more often run and gun. Uh, the medic on the other hand is really a classical healer uh, but has a couple of other really cool features. You will see it over time as we're going to use it. I don't want to spoil everything. And then finally the marine, personally my favorite class out of uh, the soldier class pack it's a bit of a watered down, weaker version of the Long War uh, Marine. Uh, later down it can uh, shoot twice, but at the beginning it is really focusing on shoot once and then overwatch. And I appreciated that feature. And really what it does is single overwatch up here, then kind of group overwatch down here, including a shredder version. And the middle section is a mix of uh, features. For instance, light them up, which is then actually shoot twice or better um, crit chance, uh, pin them down and flush them out. So the, the typical, I would say, utility shots that you're used to. And boy, boy, these guys have fantastic extracurricular uh, skills. That's good. We got an autoloader and an expanded, ma three expanded magazines. Holy, that is going to be good. Tapcat will be proud of us. I have no idea how we managed to get three, but that is fabulous. Starting to clear out uh, the debris up here. And I think everything's uh, looking quite fine at the moment. Get you into the site, but you will need to make contact with their network first. This is only the beginning. Yeah, we can use some supplies. What was the other skin about? Increase reach and income. You know what? I'm going to increase reach and income because it is so early in the mission, uh, in the campaign that this will actually be better in the long run. So, believe it or not, increased region income, fabulous, really good. If you can get it at the beginning, because steady income will help you over the long uh, haul, much more than a one-time influx. 30 supplies, that's good. Uh, I bet you this might have been 60, maybe 70 supplies, so in uh, two resource uh, drops, we're already done. Um, I could still go for supplies at the beginning of the campaign. Uh, there is no such thing as too many supplies, I suppose. Some of my people could use a hand in the but before we go to that, uh, there is a mission for a scientist, a marine, and extra intel. And we're fighting against the horde. Well, Tapcat, I would say this requires a new brain. Um, I need to hand that over to you. Experimental weapon isn't uh, really done yet, but we made some substantial progress here. Let's color code uh, the uh, characters. I know he had started with some color coding. Not necessarily my favorite color coding, I might say, but uh, that is fine. I will color code the medic in green. It's a bit weird because uh, he had chosen tech specialist to be Xbox green. Uh, cool. Uh, but the healer in my campaign is always uh, green. I would go with red over here. 
And the marine in my campaigns always was a blue. Maybe a darker blue here. And some dope pattern. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. So, other than that, um, let's fly over and actually take a look at uh, the mission. Setting course for the South African sector. Commander, you should be aware. Good, I'll leave it to him which kind of classes he uh, wants to pick. But he now has uh, the uh, full selection. I mean, he can take the prime team, I guess. That would make sense to level up a couple more soldiers. Um, and if that's the case, then what would I do? I would potentially give the flashbang to the sniper. Marksman rifle is exactly the right one with plus 5% to hit. Our hacker. Oh no, the, this is actually our sapper. You know, I would uh, play that one with the Old World Assault Rifle. I think he has done that as well because it is color-coded. And yeah, two grenades are just what the doctor ordered. In the meantime, uh, the uh, hacker uh, class or the uh, tech specialist, it's an interesting class. I think it's one of the most well-rounded classes in terms of actually being weak but super fun to play and still from a mechanic very very interesting that i've seen in a while with the three different protocols that you can use um, it has blinding protocol it has aid protocol and it has combat protocol but all of them have ultra high cooldowns um, and they all do not end, end your turn so essentially you can um, uh, either play them as a sniper and then later go into the um, sniper tree and uh, basically use the protocols uh, across uh, the entire map but for fit at the same time uh, using your sniper rifle or you use them more as a frontliner which i think uh, he's willing to do and then that would be uh, essentially just yeah using the bulb up can we build items yes we can i will executive uh, rule that a med kit is a good choice there you go you will thank me later i suppose and in terms of weapon upgrades we can't even upgrade weapons yet <laughs> because we haven't researched it well uh kit you uh, find out that we do have Quite a few weapon upgrades but soon we do have another marine and intel and a scientist so things are looking up that's it from commander saiken uh, thanks for watching if you enjoyed what you've seen consider uh, swatting that like button and once uh, you have it surrounded it might uh, surrender take care and see you all in two days bye bye